Welcome to Tulum Terraza Sessions with Tristan Gatto. I'm Tristan Gatto. If you're new to me, I've been a physical therapy professional for over 10 years, and I've worked with companies like Procter & Gamble, Capitol Records, and celebrities like Suzanne Summers. But my real passion is helping people just like you overcome body pain and stiffness and get back to doing the things that you love. So if you're not new to me, welcome back. Happy to see you again. Today, we're going to do a practice right on your sofa, which I know you'll love because you don't have to get down to the floor. You will need a step stool. Um, this will help you get into the hip stretches and it feels pretty yummy compared to doing this sitting and trying to crank your foot over your knee. Some of us can't do that, especially if we've got cranky, stiff hips. No worries, no judgments here. We're going to lubricate and hydrate the hips and the low back with some spinal waves to start with. All these moves today you can find in my number one selling neck and back pain course, 14 Day Spinal Reset. More about that at the end of this video. But we're going to get started with grounding down first. So I want you to come to the edge of your sofa. You can also do this in a chair. And I also recommend not having shoes on. You want to feel the earth. You want to really press the feet down. The feet have um, an insane amount of nerve endings. So we really want to connect and feel the mind to foot connection. Zipping up, lifting up through the pelvis, not allowing yourself to crumple down, but we want to keep the energy moving up from the pelvis and up through the crown. Hands can start on the knees or you can flip them up with the fingertips soft. And I just want you to breathe in through your nose and soften your jaw, soften your lips, let the breath out. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Nice deep breath in and exhale out. Two more, just letting go of the day. Softening the breath out of your mouth, letting your shoulders grow heavy and relaxing out. Feeling free now to set an intention or a dedication for your practice. Maybe it's towards something you're trying to achieve or cultivate, or maybe it's towards something you're trying to adjust or change, something you want to let go of and release. Either way, seal it in your mind's eye and let it vibrate throughout your body during this practice and begin to float your eyes open very gently and softly, taking in the light, a fresh perspective, a clear slate. And take the hands onto the knees and let's just begin to trace the ribs side to side. Just picture yourself at a really good concert. Maybe you've had a few. <laughs> no worries, no judgments. And just relax, soften the neck, soften the jaw. You can close your eyes again if you want. You just want to neutralize and soften. Get the shoulders moving, let the body zigzag side to side. And the breath is moving in and out and make your breath intentional. So don't make it shallow. Take nice big inhales and exhales out through your mouth to release tension and stress. Begin to widen the knees, take a wider stance in the feet. And we're just going to begin to dive forward as if you're going underneath the stick. Spinal waves, inhale, then peel your face forward, your throat, your chest, and then finally your navel. And then you'll roll the chin down, roll the chest down as you exhale. Tuck the belly under. Inhale, dive forward. Exhale, dive back. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Exhale out. You're doing great. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and what we're doing is gently mobilizing your facet joints. They're the two joints that sit on either side of your vertebrae, and they glide. They don't open like a hinge or roll like a socket joint. We actually want to try to glide them with movement, and as we do this softly, this gets the rest of the back muscles to relax. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale. Now you're going to spin over to your left and take your right hand behind your back. Keep the knees pushing out and push the right knee into your left hand. And just looking out over that back shoulder, stretching the neck, sitting up tall, and you can press into that back hand to help you sit up a little bit taller. 
breathe and relax. Slowly unwind, take it to the opposite side. Left hand coming behind the back, right hand coming around. Again, pressing the knees outward, pressing up and sitting tall. Looking out over the back shoulder. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath. Exhale. Last one, deep breath. And exhale, unwind. And just shake the body out side to side. Beautiful. Relaxing. We're going to sweep the hands behind the head. Take a deep breath in. Stretch. Open the arms. Arch the chest. And exhale. We're going to round the chest. Drop the head. Bring the elbows in. Inhale. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. You're doing great. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Good. You're going to place your right hand to your side. Left hand's going to reach up. And you're just going to side bend over towards your right side. Breathing into the side of the chest, that arm is there. You can rest onto your forearm if that feels good, if you have that space, or you can just keep a light little lift here. Stay. Take one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, sweep that arm down, hands to the knees, and just shake the body out side to side. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Left hand's going to go onto the side. Right arm reaching up. And as you exhale, we're just going to side bend. Again, staying here, just breathing, really relaxing. It's a super chill practice. Letting everything go. You're doing great. Stay with me. One more deep breath in. Take this top arm, exhale, and sweep it down, hands to the knees, and shake it out. Beautiful. All right, you're going to take your step stool now. If you don't have a step stool, grab a uh, couple of books, anything that you can find. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot on its knife edge and slide it over, slide it over, slide it over. So now you're already in this position, so you don't have to try to get the knee up. But what you're going to do is try to bring the foot, one leg to the edge of the step stool, and then your foot kind of hooks in right here. So you're going to push in, take a deep breath in, sit up tall, and you might already feel a stretch there. Hold here if that feels good. If you want a little bit more, bring your chest forward, forward, forward. And you can grab onto the knees for extra support and pull the shoulder blades back. You're going to feel that light stretch in the outside of the hip. Stay here and breathe. Try not to collapse down. We want to stay lifted up and bringing the body forward. So think about a forward and up towards the cor corner of your ceiling. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath. You're doing great. Exhale. Really relax that hip. It can be a little intense. Nothing sharp shooting or painful. Back off if you feel some discomfort. Light discomfort's not bad, but if it's a sharp shooting pain, we want to back off. Awesome. Go ahead and sit it back. Beautiful. Take it down and just rock the knees out side to side. And just notice the change in the space there in the back of the hip. Again, we're just going to slide that step stool over. Bring the foot around. Again, remember to hook it in. And just let the knee fall out to the side. You're on the edge of the sofa. Sit up tall, deep breath in. Again, stay there if you need or bring your chest forward. Again, lifting up and coming towards the angle of the ceiling. You can also use the sides of the couch if you have one, whichever feels good. I'm in a corner, so all good. And notice the stretch to the side, the hip, all good. 
Just relax. All you got to do is breathe. Beautiful. Last one. And exhale. Come out of this. Beautiful. Step the foot down and just begin to rock the knees side to side. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is kind of combine the two. So you're going to take the right foot up to the outer edge of the step stool. I can't think of the word today. <laughs> and then we're going to wrap the left one in. Be really careful here. Don't put all your weight forward. Again, readjust, get comfortable, slide your hips back if you need. And we're going to do some spinal waves here now too. So it's the same as sitting down on the ground, but this is going to get you into that position to where you can open up the hips and get into the outer hip. So from here, be really cautious. If you don't feel safe, hands on the side of the couch, inhale forward. And you can just do baby waves. Inhale, remember, it's like you're diving underneath the fence, like a cat slides underneath the fence. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale out. We're gonna swap the feet out. So before you do this, ground the feet, rock the knees out side to side, give it a little shimmy, little shake. And now we're going to do left foot first, or if I'm mirroring you, this would be right foot and then your left foot. And right foot would be in front. So wherever you find yourself, hands on the knees, take a deep breath in, sit up tall, inhale forward, exhale, roll it down and back. Spinal waves, deep breath in. And just be mindful of your hips, good. Deep breath, excuse me there, <laughs> exhale. Deep breath, my microphone's all over the place today. There we go, exhale, sliding off my ear. Inhale, exhale, two more, deep breath in, and exhale, awesome. Let's take the feet out, go ahead and take that step stool out of the way. And I'm just gonna have you lean forward, lean forward through the pelvis, so we wanna tip the pelvis up and forward, and then get the elbows into the knees. And we're just going to press to the inner thighs. And I want you to keep the chest, press the elbows down and lift the chest up. So you're getting a stretch into the inner groin and into the back of the hips and the low back. And just stay here and breathe. Close your eyes, let it go. Really center the, the breath into your, the front of your pelvis and your low back. Last one, deep breath in. As you exhale, hands onto the knees, and we're gonna bring the knees together and fold over your thighs, come down towards the floor, stretch out the upper back. Just hang here, breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out. Last one, breathe in. Exhale out, and actually for good measure, take two more breaths here. Really stretch the back of the chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Use your core strength to lift you up. Exhale slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Unraveling, stretching the arms overhead, pressing the palms. Hands will meet together at the top. Exhale and bring the thumbs to the brows with clarity and thought. Settling towards the mouth, speak kind, honest words. And finally, settle at your heart space. Give a kind, open heart. Take the energy you feel now. Let it vibrate throughout your body and send it out to your loved ones and maybe even a perfect stranger. And know that the best and greatest in me honors and recognizes the best and greatest in you. Once again, namaste. And Beyonce. Well, thanks so much for joining me today on the Tulum Terrassa. If you love this video, feel free to like it, hit subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more sessions from the Tulum Terrassa.